Hey you guys, this is Miss Vernon from Western Middle School just trying to help give you some uh, tips on registering for your Encore classes as a sixth grader. So the first thing that we're going to want you to do is go to the Western Middle School webpage and you're going to look on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to give you a second to get there um, and make sure that you can find it. But under the left hand side, there's a place that's called Quick Links and you're gonna see the second one down says NC Ed Cloud Login Staff and Students. So you're going to click there. Once you've logged into your NC Ed Cloud, you're going to see your PowerSchool um, icon that you can click on. And that's the logo that you click on to check your grades in PowerSchool if you've done that when you were in elementary school. Um, if you haven't done that before, I really encourage you guys to get in the habit of checking your grades in PowerSchool because in middle school that's going to be really important for you to keep up with your grades. So by now most of you guys have probably logged into PowerSchool. So let's take a look at what you're going to see once you get in there. On the left hand side of your screen, once you log into PowerSchool, you're going to see a lot of different little icons. There's one down there about halfway down the page that looks like a chair with a pencil and it says class registration next to it. So you're going to click on that icon and it's going to take you to the page where you're actually going to register for your sixth grade Encore classes. This should be the screen that pops up when you log in to your Encore registration sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to actually look at some examples of how it, the screens are going to change as you go through logging on for your different Encore choices. Let's say that you want to register for band. The first thing that you're going to do is go to the right hand side and click on the little pencil icon that's next to sixth grade band. That's where you're going to register for band. Once you click that icon, the next screen that comes up is going to look like this. You select band by clicking the empty box that's in front of the words band grade six. Once you've done this, click the OK button and then it will take you to another screen. It takes you back to the original screen that's going to look similar to what you see here. There is a box at the very top that says band grade six. That little box indicates that you have successfully registered for sixth grade band. You also already see a box on your screen that says health and physical education. That's because everybody in the school does have to take health and physical education. So we've already populated that one for you. If you're a sixth grade student taking band, those will be your only two electives. It'll be band and PE. So you can go ahead and click your submit button located in the bottom right corner of the screen to go ahead and verify your choices. Once you've clicked the submit button, your list view is going to look like this. You'll see that it's got health and physical education at the top. And then underneath that, it has band grade six listed four times. The reason it's listed four times is we have four nine weeks in the school year and you're going to have band every nine weeks. So it's listed that way. So congratulations, if you're registering for band and your screen looks like this, you've successfully registered for your Encore classes. But we do have some students who maybe want to look at having something other than band. So for you guys, we're going to have nine week long courses. When you look at the icon on the right hand side, the second pencil down is the one that you're going to select in order to be able to register for the sixth grade Encore classes. You notice when you get to this page that you have seven different options to choose from. You should have had an opportunity to take a chance and look at the descriptions of the courses on the link that we had for a separate document prior to watching the video. Those descriptions kind of let you know what the different classes are and what to expect from them and see which ones you'd like to sign up for. I do want to make a note that the only students that are allowed to sign up for the Global Connections class are students that have been in the SPLASH program um, in elementary school. So make sure that you don't select Global Connections unless you are a SPLASH student or else you're not going to get that course and you're automatically going to have to have one of your alternates. Just don't want you guys wasting your opportunity to say what your top four choices are. Okay, so if you notice the boxes on this screen have already had four little green check boxes on the left hand side instead of the empty boxes, so it's ready to go on and register. So I'm going to click the OK button. 
Once I have done that, then those are going to populate on the other page. I have to go down to the alternates button. So that's going to be the next one down. So the third little pencil there on the right is going to open up a window for your sixth grade alternates. You notice how this only has the six options. Global Connections is not there because the students would have already selected that for their splash. But it does have the other six courses listed. Do not choose any of the courses you've already selected because if they're already full, when, you, when the computer's trying to assign you in PowerSchool, it's going to look for something that's available that you want instead. If you put something in there that's already been looked for and is already deemed as full, then that's already going to be one of your alternates that you've wasted. So make sure that you only choose courses that you did not choose in the prior screen. Then click OK. Once that's done, you're going to need to double check your choices. You're going to look at your screen and it's going to have the different blocks. Under sixth grade Encore, you notice there are four blocks listed with different course titles. Under sixth grade Alternates, you'll notice there are two additional ones. Make sure all of those names are different. Again, we don't want to waste one of your Encore choices or your alternates. Health and PE, again, is already submitted for you. So once you've chosen your Encore classes, you've looked at your screen, you've double checked everything and you're ready, click the blue submit button in the bottom right hand corner. Once that's clicked, you're going to see a list view that's going to have all of your choices. Again, it starts with health and PE because everyone's required to have that. And then you're going to have four choices that you put in for your Encore's and then the two alternates. Please understand that the computer just randomly assigns students into the classes. Because you have those four choices there does not mean that's the order that they're going to be in. They're placed in that order in numerical order of their course number. So that doesn't have any significance in the order that they're going to attempt to try and get you in the classes. But those are going to be the ones that we try and get you in. But if your screen looks like this, congratulations. You guys have registered for your Encore classes. I'm really proud of you and I look forward to getting a chance to meet you next year and help you with things. Don't hesitate to contact myself or Ms. Jacobs if you need help with this. We'll be glad to help you navigate this process or even to do it along with you. So um, again, this is Ms. Vernon. Feel free to contact me or Ms. Jacobs for any additional help or if you need some um, conversation along the way to try and make some decisions. Thanks and have a great day. Look forward to meeting you soon.